hey, if you're a seller of put options, and we're big put option sellers here at the, the Smart Option Seller, you may have asked this question to yourself, or people may have asked you this as well. Should you sell cash secured put options, or should you sell put options in a margin account? It's a big important question and i get asked this all the time so in today's video we're going to be talking about number one selling put options but we're going to be talking about whether you should be using a cash secured account or a margin account all right so if this interests you sit back and relax we're going to go right into it hey everyone lee lowell here from smartoptionseller.com what you see in front of you is what we call our cheat sheet we're going to be talking about selling put options and should you be using a cash secured or a margin account when you sell put options. We're gonna do this pretty quickly, a shorter video today, I make these free videos for the trading community so we can all help out each other and all become better traders. So just to backtrack a little bit here, let's talk about what selling put options is. Selling put options is an option trading strategy, obviously, where you are the seller of the put option, not the buyer. Okay, we only talk about selling put options. So what happens when you sell a put option? Well, you sell a put option, you're gonna sell it to the put option buyer and you get cash right up front for selling that put option. When you sell something, you get money for it. It's the same thing in the options market. You sell a put option and someone's gonna pay you money for it. So what does that do for you? When you sell a put option, what actually happens? Couple things, when you sell a put option, number one, what you're really doing is obligating yourself to potentially buy the stock at that strike price sometime in the future. And in exchange for your obligation, you're going to get paid money from the put option buyer. So you really have to make sure that whatever, whatever stock you sell put options on, it's a stock that you really want to potentially own at some time in the future at a price of your choosing. And typically that price is lower than where the stock is currently trading. So what I'm going to do here, we have our cheat sheet here. We're going to talk about what put option selling is all about, whether you should use a cash secured account or a margin account. And, and they, they act very differently from each other. So this may be quite enlightening to some of you that are just starting out with selling put options. Now, number one, what is a cash secured account and how, how does it work when you sell put options? In a cash secured account, what that means is that when you sell a put option, which obligates you to potentially, not absolutely, but to potentially buy 100 shares of stock sometime in the future. Now, if you have to buy those shares of stock, you have to pay for them and you have to pay for those 100 shares. So you have to make sure you have the money ready to go when it's time to buy those shares. But if you sell put options in a cash secured account, it means that you have to keep that full purchase cost on hand at all times. Whether or not you actually end up buying the shares is irrelevant. You have to have the money to buy the shares at all times, free and clear in your ca in your account at all times. So let's just go through the example here. So, so let's say you sell a $50 strike, three month put option for $1 a contract. But what does that mean? Well, you're selling a 50 strike put option, which means that's obligating you sometime in the future to potentially buy 100 shares of a stock at $50 per share. Now, when you sold the put option, the stock could have, could be at $70 a share, $60 a share, even $80 a share, <laughs> excuse me. That's what's called selling an out of the money put option. Let's just say the stock's at 70, you sell a 50 strike put option, that's $20 out of the money. So you're basically obligating yourself while the stock's at $70 today, you're obligating yourself to potentially sometime in the future buy 100 shares at $50 a share. So you would get a $20 discount. The only way that you would ever have to buy those shares is if the stock actually falls from 70 all the way down to 50 by the expiration date of that option. Okay, and so it's a three month option and you sell it for $1 per contract, which is $100, okay? Every option contract consists of 100 shares. So whatever the price of the option, you have to multiply it by 100 and that's how much money you will get. So if you sell this put option for a dollar a contract, that's how options are, that, that's the lingo. It's per contract. So $1 per contract, you're actually gonna get $100 in your pocket for your obligation to potentially buy sometime in the future 100 shares at $50 a share while the stock's currently at 70. So here's how the cash secured account works. Since you may have to buy 100 shares at $50 a share in the future, that would be an outlay of $5,000 if it came to fruition that you'd have to buy the 100 shares. But in the meantime, until that occurs, if it ever occurs, you have to keep $5,000 
on hand at all times in your account, free and clear from any other trades that you may want to make. You have to make sure that $5,000 is always sitting there ready to go. And this means you have to keep $5,000 whether or not you ever end up buying the shares, okay? If the stock never falls to 50 from its current $70 price, you won't have to buy the shares. You won't get to buy the shares. No one's gonna sell you shares at $50 if they're currently trading at 70 in the market. So you'll just walk away with your $100 as your consolation prize. But you still have to keep the $5,000 of cash on hold, unavailable for any other trades you may wanna make. If you have a, a $5,000 account, you can only make this one trade in a cash secured account because all $5,000 of your money is going to be held aside for this trade. Okay. So let's talk about what the, the return percentage would be if, if this trade ends up expiring worthless, if the option expires, expires worthless, if the option expires worthless, you get to keep your hundred dollars. You don't get to buy the shares at 50. You just keep the hundred bucks. That's your consolation prize. So you have to, you have to divide the hundred dollar profit you made into the $5,000 that you but it's, you can consider that your investment. You know, your cash on hold is your investment. And that would be a 2% return for the three months or 8% return annualized, okay? So that's one way to sell put options in a cash secured account. The other way you can sell put options is by using a margin account. And what does that mean? Well, a margin account, to some people they hear the word margin and that, that, that can confuse some people. But in this case, when you're selling puts using a margin account, that means your broker is only going to hold aside a percentage of that full amount of cash that it would take for you to buy the shares. What percentage is that? Well, most brokers in the US will hold anywhere between 10 to 20% of that full value. And I'm in the example here, I'm, I'm going to default to the higher 20%. What does that mean? 20% of what? It's 20% of whatever the potential cost of buying the 100 shares would be. So we're going to use that same example. We sell the 50 strike three month put option for a dollar per contract. And most brokers are going to hold aside 20% of that $5,000, which is $1,000 right there. 20% of the full cost, potential cost. Uh, 20% times 5,000 is $1,000. And that is what's called the margin requirement, the margin requirement. That means out of the cash that you have in your account, only a thousand dollars of your free cash is going to be put towards uh, having that, that trade. Uh, uh, in order for you to make that trade, you have to have a thousand dollars out of whatever amount of money you have in your account held aside. Now I want to go back up here for a second because some people get confused when they hear the word margin. They think, oh, I'm, I'm buying stocks on margin. I'm taking out a loan from my broker. I have to pay interest. I have to make interest payments. This is not what that is. Selling puts on margin is not the same thing as buying stocks on margin. Okay. You want to make sure you understand this. When you buy stocks on margin, you pay for 50% of the cost and you borrow 50% from your broker and then you pay your broker interest payments. This is not the same thing. When you sell put options in a margin account, it is called the margin requirement right here. And the margin requirement is just money that gets taken out of your free cash. So if you had this tip, if you had this fictional $5,000 account, you'd only have to use up 1,000 of it. So you have $4,000 left over to make other trades. Whereas in the cash secured account, you can only make this one trade because all $5,000 of your account balance is used up. So for us here at the smart option seller, we like to use, or, and me personally, I like to use a margin account when I sell put options because it uses my cash more efficiently. I don't know if I'm ever going to end up buying these shares. So why would I have to put up the full amount of potentially buying the shares if I don't know if I'm going to buy the shares or not? It's not the best way to use your cash. It, that's it, my opinion. Okay, so that's the difference right there. That's the only two things we're talking about here is cash secured or using a margin account. In the margin account, most brokers in the U.S., because I can only talk about U.S. brokers because that's all I know, it's roughly 20%. Some do less than that. Some might do more. Talk to your broker about it. Cash secured, you know exactly how much you're going to have to have held aside. It'll be the full amount of whatever it costs to buy the shares of stock. All right. So 
before you go and figure out which kind of account you're going to use, let's just talk about a couple caveats here. In order to have a margin account to sell put options, you have to be approved by your broker. If you've never sold put options before and you want to open up an options trading account and you want to sell what these are called naked put options, you have to be approved by your broker. All brokers have different levels of approval. Usually there's four levels and the highest level, let's just say level four, I think it goes from zero to four the levels. Level four is considered the most risky l approval level of approval and that includes selling naked puts so you have to understand that you have to have your broker approve you to sell these put options if your broker does not approve you to sell put options at all at put options at all you can't can't sell put options but some brokers will uh, approve you to sell put options but only for cash secured purposes because the brokers want to protect themselves as well they want to make sure that you're just not going to sell all these put options and collect all this cash and not have the reserves to actually buy the shares of stock if you have to follow through on the obligation so number one you have to be approved to sell put options using a margin account the other thing is that number two here in the united states any retirement account, whether that's a regular IRA, a Roth IRA, a 401k, whatever retirement account you have, and you're allowed to sell put options in that account, they have to be cash secured. You cannot sell put options using margin in a retirement account in the United States. That's just the rule. No one could get around it. I can't even get around it. When I, if, I, if and when I sell put options in my retirement account, they have to be cash secured. I can't do anything about that, all right? So just make sure you understand. If you, if you wanna use a margin account, it has to be a regular margin account, a non-retirement type of account. And lastly, if you are using a margin account, that, that a margin requirement can fluctuate higher or lower throughout the trade, and it all depends on where the stock moves, okay? So as we looked at the, the example here with the numbers, that $1,000 is, is really what's called the initial margin requirement. When you first sell that put option, that initial margin requirement is $1,000. That's the 20%. Now, as the stock fluctuates higher or lower, lower over the three month expiration period, that margin requirement could move up or down depending on where the stock goes. Now, if the stock starts at 70 and starts ticking down to $50, and it looks like, hey, you may have to end up buying the, the 100 shares, then your margin requirement is going to start ticking up towards that $5,000 amount. Because if it, it, because if it looks like you're going to have to buy the shares, if the stock's falling down to 50, and you end up buying the shares, you're going to need the $5,000. So that margin requirement starts to go up. So just be aware that the margin requirement is not fixed for the life of the trade. It can fluctuate higher or lower. But it, as a cash secured, it can never be more than the full cost of buying the 100 shares. All right. So that's about it. That's the question that I get a lot. Cash secured or margin, which should you use, which is better? The better is, is up to you. It's up to you to decide which one you want to do. For me and what we do with the smart option seller, we do a, do sell put options in a margin account because like I said, you use your cash more efficiently. You don't know if you're gonna buy the shares of stock, so why would you have to put up all the money ahead of time as if you were already gonna buy the shares? I, I don't like to do that, all right? So that's it in a nutshell. I just wanna go over quickly what we do here at the smart option seller. We're all about put selling and selling put option credit spreads. We're, we're big option sellers. That's our, that's our main gig. So if you've never heard about put selling or, or you know about put selling, you want to learn more about it, go to our website, smartoptionseller.com. Get our free ebook right here. Click on the top, free ebook all about put option selling. It's called Put Selling Basics. I know the title's really boring. Scroll down. Put your name and email address here. We'll send you an email with a link to download the free copy. If you want to learn more about put selling in general, if you really want to go on a deep dive, take a look at our put selling video series. Uh, it's a, it's a five part video series that you can get to uh, learn more about it. And what else we have here, our services tab. We have two newsletters. We sell put options naked and we sell put option credit spreads. We have our one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you ever want, if you need some help, sit down and talk for an hour talk about anything you want regarding options trading I've had a lot of students go through this and, and they're really grateful for that we have our calculator we have our probability calculator that you can use take a look at that and lastly in the description below this video 
our links to websites and other resources that I think are really helpful for any options trader today. So keep take a look down there. I also have the links for the, the ebook and the, and the video series down there as well. All right. If you found this helpful, please give me a like, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, send me an email. I always answer your emails. I'm here to help you. Been in the business for over 30 years now, trying to help educate the next generation of option traders. All right. Um, that's it for today. I hope everyone has a great weekend. Make these videos on the weekend, and I will see you all here next time. This is Lee Lowell signing off.